Hi guys, when it comes to splash drones, there are two calibrations that are absolutely necessary before every flight. Accelerometer or gyroscope calibration and compass calibration. The lid should be facing forward when it is secured down for calibrations. Please note, you must fully charge both your drone and controller battery before every flight. The drone needs to be placed on a flat and leveled horizontal surface before commencing calibrations. Please make sure that all switches are facing up position. Press and hold both power buttons for 3 seconds to power on the controller. There are two new indicator lights on the controller that are now labeled. The light on the right hand side displays remote controller battery status. It will flash red when the controller battery is low on charge. You can find more accurate reading of your controller battery on top right of your screen. Left LED on the controller indicates your controller status. It's flashing green because the drone is not powered on and so the controller cannot communicate with the drone. Now let's start with the accelerometer calibration. Undo the screws first. A quick tip, instead of hanging GPS lid to the side, you can mount the GPS lid to the top left of your drone. Doing so, you're making sure that the GPS inside the lid is not too far from the center. You have visual of the LED indicator inside the drone at all times and you have easy access to the battery cable. Connect the battery cables to power up the drone. Once powered on, you will see quick flashing on LED inside the drone, which indicates the drone is initializing. Please do not press any buttons during initializing phase. It is critical to tuck the battery cables between the battery and inside wall. There is a GPS inside the lid. Having the cable loose might interfere with the GPS satellites. Leave the flap outside for an easy access to the cables. To engage the accelerometer calibration, switch to return home on the controller. Hold the left joystick into the lower right corner and right joysticks into the upper right corner and hold it there. Quick flashing of LEDs means the calibration is underway. Let go of the joysticks once the LED is flashing solid green. To complete the calibration, please power off your drone and then the controller. Before calibrating the compass, few things to note are The lid should be facing forward when it is secured down for calibrations Please remove the plastic covering the top of the lid Please make sure all the switches are facing up Do not put the propellers on during any of the calibrations for safety purposes. Now let's begin the calibration. Press both power buttons on the controller for 3 seconds to power on the controller. Connect the battery holding the yellow plugs. Do not pull on the wires or you will damage the battery. Now power on the drone. Tuck the battery cable between the battery and inside wall. Leave the flap outside for an easy access to the cables. Two green flashing LED suggest that we have enough satellites to perform compass calibration. However, for compass calibration, always make sure you have 12 or more satellites on the top right of your controller screen. To engage compass calibration, press return to home on the controller. Hold left joystick into the lower left corner and right joystick into the upper left corner. 
quick flashing LED inside the drone indicates that the drone is in compass calibration mode. Pick up the drone and hold it horizontally. Before calibration or flight, always make sure that the nose of splash drone, the side with white arrows, is facing away from you. Holding it horizontally, rotate the drone around you in a clockwise direction. Turn the drone upside down, then do one full clockwise rotation, 360 degrees. Turn the drone vertically, nose up 12 o'clock, one full rotation. While vertical, turn the drone right 3 o'clock, do one full clockwise rotation. While vertical, nose pointing down 6 o'clock, do one full clockwise rotation. While vertical, nose pointing left 9 o'clock, one full clockwise rotation. Now place the drone back on a horizontal surface. Wait until the LED will change to slow flashing green light. To complete the compass calibration, please power off your drone and then the controller.